make a video here of the uh, 250cc go-kart. Um, started taking everything apart. I've got basically the seats, um, some electrical, and that's pretty much it. I think everything else I'm probably gonna tape off. Um, basically the swing arms, I'm gonna leave like they are. I may block it up, pull the shocks off. I'm not sure yet. I may leave them on it and just tape everything off. But um, next step is, uh, it's gonna be paint, so I uh, kind of planning on doing like a bed liner on all the under, basically everything that's still still on the go-kart. Uh, probably tape off maybe the, the aluminum plating on the bottom, I don't know. I may just paint it as well, vacuum it all out and clean it up and paint it uh, once I get these seats out. Uh, again, got, got a few things, these lights will they're going in the trash, gotta get them yanked off and finish up some of the electrical, so. Uh, hopefully I'll get to get to working on this today and get all this put together um, again the I, I think right now I'm just gonna go back red with all the top parts um, and then black bed liner on all the bottom so we'll see how far how far I get and see how this goes I got the electrical uh, all the wiring pulled out I got a few things off, but uh, I can just, as you can see, you got all the wiring out of it. Uh, probably pull the center or the little dashboard out and pull the lights off. But uh, really wanted to go over here and show. So this is all the electrical on this damn go kart. Uh, to me, it's a little crazy. No more than what's what's there. So kind of my plan is I'll, I'll go back, use the original ignition, um, keep basically those wires that are on here. Um, those will go back to the rectifier regulator. Plan to keep that so I can keep the charging system going. So I'll keep keep this. Um, some of these wires that go up in here, uh, I'm assuming this is just a fuse. Keep that. Not 100% sure what all this is. This is probably something to do with ignition. Um, but I'll have to go through all these little relays and some of this stuff's probably for turn signals, lights, that type of stuff, I'm sure. So go through all that. Here's the starter solenoid, that'll stay. Um, basically go through it all, thin it all out somewhere. Like I said, I think that, here's your uh, coil for the spark plug. Um, so that's gotta stay. So again, I'll go through some of this. Uh, these wires are terrible. I mean, you can see how, how bad some of this plastic's just, I mean, it's crap. Um, a lot of these ends are, are that way, you just barely press on them. So anyway, thought I'd throw, throw kind of an update um, on that. And yeah, I'll all right, got the seats out. Um, basically all the electrical. Uh, I've got a few things now I'm gonna tape up and probably pull out a few more cables, clean up the floor pan. Um, probably come back here in just a second once I, uh, once I get everything cleaned right before I right before I start painting it. So um, anyway, that's where it is. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with these seats yet. Uh, thinking about possibly getting new ones. They're what I found online. I can get new seats for like under 150 bucks, somewhere in there for the for two of them. So I'm probably gonna look that, look at going that direction. Um, the other option is possibly have somebody locally um, reupholster them. So, but anyway, uh, this is where it's at right now. Uh, again, I'll get it all cleaned up and probably cut back in uh, with another video right before I paint. All right, um, got everything kind of taped off. Front shocks, I didn't pull everything off. Um, tried to tape off everything, the majority of it. So I wouldn't, or stuff I didn't want to overspray on. Steering column shocks, that type of stuff. Um, little dashboard. Oh, all these um, little sleeves that go on the top rail rear shocks, that type of thing. So, uh, ran out of bed liner. Um, probably have about half of it probably coated. Uh, some of it I definitely gotta go over again. I mean, you can even see in here where the reds, uh, it's really, really hard, but you can kind of see where the red's sticking through. But down here is probably, probably, probably what the final product. It's a little boy, you can see a little red in there, but. Really goes on well. Um, what I'm using, I believe it's a Duplicolor bed liner. Seems to have the best. It goes on smoother, I guess, than some of the others that I've used. 
Um, you can kind of see that's about as rough as it gets, and that's where I kind of got a little, a little thick. Um, but kind of see. Uh, I think it'll, I think it'll turn out a little good. Like I said, I, I ran. I was really, really hoping to get it all, all coated today, but um, didn't. I'm actually gonna cover all all the front aluminum up in here because uh, there was no way of taking all that and messing with it. So I'll probably just coat coat all of that and then the, the big portion in the center will leave leave. But I think it'll actually look good. Kind of see a few spots there where I, I got it coated decent, but just trying to get into all that stuff's kind of a pain. So it's going to be a slow process of getting all that covered and where it's going to look nice. So, but, but didn't turn out too bad what, what I've gotten done. So still got a lot left. Like I said, it's probably halfway done, something like that. So probably need another four cans or, or so. So, but anyway, I thought I'd kind of show what it, what it's looking like and it's slowly slowly getting there but um we'll see if i'm able to get some more some more picked up um or not it may be a while before i'm able to so we'll see um again i've got plenty to do i plan to go through all the wiring and get it all um cleaned up get the stuff that i absolutely have to have um and then get rid of all the rest i, I may put some front lights back on it um some LEDs, not sure. Really don't plan to be riding a whole lot at night. It'll be more just us going out and, and playing on it. So, got another one over there, and so I've got some more in the back that I'm trying to get a, get a couple and put together for, for us to go play and have fun on. So, um, again, seats, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet with those. I'll either buy, buy some new ones or possibly have these re, redone. Uh, I'm just gonna look at some prices and see see where I'm at, um, see what it's gonna cost. Uh, the brakes, plan on I've got a I've got a kit. Hopefully it's the right one, but it's basically the master cylinder um, hoses um, all the way all the way back. That's why I didn't pull off a little the um, oh what do you want to call it? T back here. I just left it on. So I'll if I have to I'll clean it up. I have to reuse it, but should have new hoses from the back all the way to there, the worn hose, and then new hoses to both front front uh, calipers. So brakes are actually seem to be pretty decent on this on this cart. I mean, you got four four discs uh, all the way around on it, so that's kind of kind of cool. But um, anyway, that's kind of where where this is at. I will get this all painted back up. Um, this is the original red for the and you definitely tell where where those uh all the little cushion whatever you want to call them bills were on it so but color i've got out got that i'm gonna paint this will be really really close to this and this ought to be a lot easier to paint than than the frame so uh i'll plan on painting all this red to match and then uh motor still sitting it's over here I'm trying to keep all the parts uh, motor bolts um gearboxes somewhere around here rebuilt i'm not sure where um radiator so most of the stuff for the carts there outside of, i'm really not sure where the gearbox is at but it's rebuilt oh. it's rebuilt over here so and then I've, i'm gonna paint this stuff uh red as well so and then still Possibly gonna build a battery box. I got to thinking about it after I got it all put together. I, I may just get the original battery that goes back in here. Uh, I'm not sure yet, but if I build one, um, I can easily chop that out and or leave it in there. It really isn't gonna matter, and mount the battery somewhere else, uh, bolt it in place somewhere on here because there's plenty of room in different places to put it. But anyway, that's kind of where it sets. Um, again, uh, hopefully here. Here soon, I'll, I'll have a have the frame all painted, and um, hopefully the next video is me actually starting to put some of this back together and see where it goes. But um, thanks for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe and smash that like button. Thanks again.